Hi friends, today I will show data viewer in SSIS. Um, what is data viewer? Data viewer is one of the debugging techniques in SSIS package. By using data viewer, we can able to see the flow of data from one component to other component. In, in the in data flow, whether it is, whether it is uh, correctly moving the data or not. It help us to see the data between two comments, how it will be flow and how it will be moved. Data viewer will display in a tabular format. We can enable the data viewer in the data flow tab, not in control flow tab. Without wasting the time, just jump into the demo. So this is my SQL Server data development tools, <coughs> 2019. So my, here my source is the EMP table. EMP table, the, 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 there are five columns in the EMP, ID, first name, last name, gender, and company name. Now my intention is we have to concatenating the first name and last name and create a new column full name and uh, by using the derived column in the uh, in um, Visual Studio. After that uh, I will move that full name and uh, entire, uh, entire data to the flat file source by creating the new flat, flat file. Now I am dragging the uh, data flow task into control panel double click here my source is the OLEDB source so data is in the SQL table so double click to configure so this is my server name this is my database name now I want to select the na name of the table EMP table these are the columns and in, the, in that we have got the preview so everything is okay okay so configuration is done so so to, to get the full name we need some transformation called derived column so I drive the derived column into data flow uh, panel so we connect the OLDB source to the derived column double click to configure columns and its combination of the first name and last name last name and in between concatenate with plus symbol so you call it as a full name So it is additional uh, added as a new column. So no need to change the data type and all things. I will click OK. Now we want to uh, dump this data to the flat file destination. So flat file here. configure just new see there four options is there delimited fixed width ragged right and uh, fixed width and with uh, row limiters now I want comma separated value that's why I, I select the delimited click OK and you have to browse where this data will be stored in your computer so browse so this is the uh, path I need to store so you click right click and create new folder called EMP EMP CSV So you have to ch uh, check this one column names in the first row data row. Otherwise, the data will dumped without any column names. So check it. Advanced. No need to change all these things. Preview. Click OK. Mappings. So everything is mapped correctly. OK. 
so i want to create data enable the data here between the transformation and destination by clicking the data view you have to uh, by enabling data view you have to click the right click on the middle of, middle between transformation and destination and enable the data view so it will enable now when what happen when you run the package when you run the package the data will flow from source to the derived column after in after inserting the full name column it will display and after that it will load that what it happen so click start see here the columns that are that there in the um, sql table id first name last name gender and company name so uh, by enabling the data viewer and uh, from the derived column and uh, by creating new com new column full name by concatenating the first name and last name here we getting the six rows six columns id first name last name gender company name and full name at last stop and uh, check the data will correctly uploaded in the or not in the path so here is the emp table see here id first name last name gender company name and full name if you want to cross check the first name you will check brain slides female giga box is the company name brian slides female giga box full name is brain slides so that is that is how we can use the data flow in the <coughs> data viewer in the data flow and uh, check the data flow correctly flowed from one component to other component thank you very much for watching